Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to SCP-087-B, The Ultimate Revival. I actually talked to the creator, Henry Sauerbruch, Sauerbrock, I apologize if I'm butchering that, on Reddit. And uh, he just released this the other day and wanted people to try it, so I'm here to give it a shot. Description, SCP-087-B is a building with highly unusual properties. When two or more people enter the SCP, it assumes the appearance of an empty, unlit room with concrete walls. Tep's subjects have described feeling anxious and nauseated inside the room, but no further anomalies have been reported. Subjects who have, been, who have entered the SCP alone have described seeing an opening in the wall opposite to the door, leading to a brick-walled hallway connected to an apparently endless staircase. Radio signals seem to weaken extremely fast inside the SCP. Radio communication becomes impossible approximately after... So just reach the sixth floor. Opening the door becomes possible after a seemingly random amount of time past the subject's entry. None of the subjects have returned and no further contact with them has been established. Let's go ahead and dive right in, see if we can get through all the floors. You are now inside the SCP-087B. Please proceed with caution. Okay. Um, let me in. Or is that the way back? Oh, that's the way back. Okay. Going down the floors. Hmm. So I've actually never played the original, and this is the artist, uh, the creator's own workings. So you just kind of like reimagined it, gave it like some twists. Uh, so if you played the original, let me know down in the comments below, and let me know how it differs. And, uh, yeah, let's just keep walking down these stairs. I think there's 150 floors in this SCP, if I recall correctly. Uh, so we might break this up over a couple of episodes. Just, you know, for the sake of walking down flights of stairs. Uh, if it starts to get too monotonous and repetitive kind of thing, because uh, we are about to lose radio contact here on floor 4, we got two left. Uh, but I was saying, if it gets kind of repetitive with the going down the stairs and everything, we will start doing jump cuts to scary bits. So, this whole SCP is just walking downstairs. I don't hear anything out of the ordinary. I haven't seen anything out of the ordinary. It's just... Endless staircase after endless staircase. Let me turn that down just a scoosh because that was ear splitting. I do notice it's pretty dark. Uh, bear with me as I try to turn up the brightness just a little bit for y'all. Okay, I can't turn up the brightness, so... We are on floor 7. I hear something now. I hear the grinding of something against stone. Stone against stone. I'm a rolling stone, baby. Don't get in my way. I'm walking down these stairs like a champion. Can I see my feet? I, I am just a bobbing head with a light. This is not, this is like the gate of somebody who doesn't care. <laughs> just, just for the record. So, um, back in a couple months back, I went down to San Antonio, Texas, and we did the Natural Bridge Caverns. And... As you may or may not know, it's this cave system underground kind of thing. They take like guided tours and get to see like stalactites, stalagmites, and all that kind of cool stuff. So I did it with some friends and my wife. And I've never been in a cave. Um, let's just say I'm pretty tall. I'm 6'2". And some of those passages were quite narrow. And I did a lot of ducking and a lot of squeezing to get through there. And my tour group was incredibly slow. 
which I mean, fine. Everyone wants to take pictures and enjoy their time down there kind of thing. We were told it was a 30 minute tour down and out kind of thing. We were down there for two hours and 15 minutes. Oh no. Floor 13, you give me choices? We're going left, baby. Going left. We are... We are turning around and going right. We're not going down a hole. Doesn't seem like something I want to do. Anyway, two hours and 15 minutes underground. And you get down like three quarters of a mile underground or half a mile underground or something crazy like that. And it's like a three quarter of a mile like dip underneath the ground kind of thing. So you like go down and you come back up. So it's kind of like a bowl. Anyway, after about 30 minutes, there's no air. I mean, there's air, but it's not like moving. It's just like that cold, like dank, stagnant air. It's, you know, super humid. It's really warm. It's really warm, and so what? This is like those weird stairs, and like the painting where it's going upside down and stuff. Anyway, I digress. When I get anxious, I start to have stomach issues, and it's not like real stomach issues, but it turns into it if the stress doesn't like relieve itself. I don't know if I have like IBS or something crazy like that. But, I'm underground. Yeah, what? In a tour group. I'm just gonna go down the hole. Back to where we were with a drum cut and yeah I'll see you all in floor 13 oh no it's different already never mind we're gonna keep going I guess so to kind of finish the story uh, I told the tour guide just kind of like hey how much time we're gonna be down here uh, I am starting to feel very uncomfortable and the atmosphere is not helping and he said, oh, don't worry, we'll be right out. 45 more minutes later, we finally emerge. And I made it to a restroom. And really, I don't think it would have been an issue if the group had been moving at a regular pace kind of thing. But yeah, live and learn. I'm never going back in a cave for quite a while. I have learned my lesson. Man, these steps. I wish I could just make them go a little. Radio station will be possible Good luck. Were these windows always there, or did I just miss them the first time through here? The walls look wet. Is this one of those games that I'm gonna have to make notes? I'm like, oh, this time I went left. This time I went right. The first time down here didn't have those kind of rooms at all. So that is definitely interesting. I really like the SCP Foundation and the stuff they put out. Uh, whether you believe it's real or not, everybody has like their different opinions. I mean, I definitely think there's secret origin, or the, I definitely think there's secret organizations out, out there. So is this where it like flips around on me? Maybe. Anyway, I think there's secret organizations out there, but I don't know if there's anything quite as extensive as SCP and all the crazy stuff they come up with. There was actually, fun fact, I play D and D. But anyway. Fun fact, there used there was a Kickstarter or like a Reddit post or an imager post or something like that of somebody who was trying to make an SCP like tabletop game. That is super exciting to me to be able to play something like that. Alright. 
more weird noises. Going downstairs. Gonna find me some Mountain Dew. This is ladder. Let's see where it goes. I'm in a tiny room. Man. Besides the like random noises and stuff. Without, could you imagine watching like a no commentary playthrough of this? Just somebody walking through corridors? I mean, I know some people are like really into that kind of like gameplay. Like they want to see the game, but they don't want to hear somebody talk. But man. Corridor Simulator 1000. Telling this, I guess, would be 1001 since it's a reimagination, reimagining of the original. I wonder what these like. I feel like Pac-Man just eating these specks of dust, just walk a walk a walk a help, 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 help. I think if I eat enough dust, my character will just kill over, have like an asthma attack or something. Doop-a-doop. I should have looked 12. Okay, I think the other one was 10. Does this skip a floor? Like, does that count as a flight of stairs going down? And then this next flight around here counts as another, which... Did y'all hear that? Sound like somebody going... Whack. Or something like that. Making weird noises. I would be the worst person to have along. If you were stuck in like walking endless court. 13. What? What last one was? 14 or 12? Anyway, as I was saying, I'd be the worst person to have because when I get nervous, I talk and try to make jokes to lighten the mood and brighten the situation. So, I wish I could go a little faster. I don't know why I've been holding shift this entire time, thinking it would make my guy go a little faster, but it's not. And I get 14. Okay. Yes, hello? There should be nobody down here but me. I am the guinea pig to run this maze. Please don't let them chase after me, especially since I can't run. Floor 15. We are 10% of the way there. Hey, look, pipes. I watched Markiplier's charity stream way back, like part of it, when he played through this. The original, uh, but I never finished it. Uh, this goes back up. We don't want to do that, so we're going to turn around. So I don't know how this ends. All right, and I think the goal is to get to the bottom to win. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We we did this one right. Even though it's all the same, we did it right. And are you really winning if you make it to the bottom? Is this... Because like 99% of the time the SCPs are not a good thing. They're not like, oh yeah, you, you, you found it at the bottom. It's going to do good things or it may give you good things but have horrible consequences. Not gonna lie, if this was me, even at the slow pace, I may already be out of breath at this point. Just huffing. I'm talking here, okay? You can make your golem noises all you want. Well, that doesn't sound good. I think my door just opened a little bit? No. God, how creepy would that be? Just, y'all are watching me. The door just kind of slowly swings open in the background. And I don't notice until like I edit the video kind of thing. But I guess if I was live streaming, y'all would be able to tell me. But 
This is recording, so that's not gonna happen. I still, I'm still seeing these little specks of dust, thinking I'm Pac-Man. That's just all that's in my head. And then again, I have the circus music stuck in my head more often than I care to admit. So maybe I'm just. Where was I gonna go? Where was I gonna go? I mean, the windows, this, the windows open right now. I guess I could have fled through that. Oh man, I'm awake again. Are you all awake? Hopefully, if, if you made it this far into the video and you saw that, leave me a comment down below. Cause, uh, damn. And I've been trying to not cuss, because I know YouTube's being weird about swear words and saying inappropriate stuff. Oh, I don't like that. 425. We're not dropping in a pit this time, and this... No. No. No, go away. So start me back at the beginning. Damn it. You are now inside the SCP 087B. Mm. Please proceed with caution. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and end episode one of SCP 087-B here. Uh, so what we're going to kind of do for the next one is get back to floor 25, start it back up for episode 2, and go on from there uh, to kind of keep the ball rolling. Uh, do you know anything about SCP-087-B? Let me know down in the comments below. If you liked what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up. Anyway, I will see y'all in the next one.